Welcome to the first episode of our new show, aptly named Around a Round Table. Yeah. Because this is where your favorite or least favorite guests <laughs> from the Wreck My Podcast get together around a round table. This is kind and of more of an oval. Yeah, oval tables <laughs> are round. Oval teen. <laughs> around. Wait, it's, yeah, an oval, oval is team? round. We do have oval teens. <laughs> Why do they call it oval teen? We're going to put it in our beer. Yeah. <laughs> they should call beer, it round oval teen. teen. Yeah, well, essentially, this is the podcast where we talk about nothing and everything at the same time. Since this is a show where we just hang out, we thought it appropriate to try out a new beer every time since we are all very much into that yeah so we will start enjoying this week's choice which is our first choice the brute ipa by sierra nevada and then we'll come back with our thoughts about after about it after the first segment okay yeah yeah Yeah. so we'll uh we'll move into the first segment i also um, i uh, also brought a couple well oh that's true craiger did bring something that we may try afterwards it it was it was in a four pack and the guy let me just buy one because it was 22.99 for a four pack holy but it's called effing birthday cake yeah oh i want to try so jordan uh, yes um oh we're gonna get into the beer now well i I just had a quick question what's the question ipa made by sierra nevada their spring seasonal extra dry ipa is there actually champagne in this there's not actually champagne in it, but oh. we'll get in. I have a whole section oh, okay. here about Sorry, I'm jumping why the gun, it's champagne. I'm jumping the gun. Hey, it's the first episode. We're kind of just trying this out yeah. as it's going. Yeah. I really like that new song. Taylor Swift goes hard now. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> she has a new song? That was it. No, that was yeah, we it, just right? heard it. Yeah, she's like, uh, Where you? Ta- she's like Haley <laughs> from Paramore now. Yeah. What's her last name? Williams. Williams. Yeah, Haley Williams. Haley Williams. Oh, my uh, my Cam's whoa, yeah. whoa. Biggest whoa. crush. I whoa. almost called her Haley Morrison. <laughs> Craig can date Haley Morrison. Yeah. Haley, Morrison. <laughs> <laughs> Haley, Morrison. <laughs> no. Haley Williams hey, is Cam. Have you ever been to a Paramore concert? <laughs> I have. Okay, Mr. Moneybags. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got taken there for free by a girl. Oh, uh, like ninety yeah. percent of Craig's life is free. <laughs> he somehow gets it. <laughs> Finagles his way to get Finagles it free. Finagles his way in this stuff. <laughs> is, uh, hey, Craig, do you want to go to this? Is it free? Uh, sure. Okay, I'm okay. In. I'll go. <laughs> hey, I can't. I can't. Hey. I can't judge you. I went to floor seats at Raw for free, and I you finagled did. my way yeah. into that. So, <laughs> who doesn't like free stuff? Like, come who on. doesn't like finagling? Yeah, finagling do, is like my favorite finagling. pastime. <laughs> anyway, let's move into our first uh, segment okay. here, and I'm really excited for you guys to hear a little intro music. This is our Would You Rather question of the week. So here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Jazz Club. Oh, wait for it. Wait for it. Would you rather? <laughs> <laughs> is, is that you? That's me. Oh, it's, <laughs> you made. Oh my god. <laughs> I threw myself in the end. Of it. I thought, you know what? This is missing me whispering <laughs> at the end. <laughs> this is like Grand Tour Nation oh, and all that stuff. I'm trying to make a trip. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's my that was my like favorite part of this episode so far. Yeah, yeah that's first great. we got Taylor Swift, then we got Duke right? Silver. Yeah. Then... <laughs> <laughs> that's me. <laughs> All right, so our would you rather question is would you rather be question. trapped? Oh yes, this is this is a segment. Ah. We're doing segments now, Joe. That's Sorry. what this is all about. I'm trying to keep. Up. I forgot to uh, transition our little TV screen and here. Were you uh, going to introduce us? Oh. oh, good, good call, Joe. Um, so, I'm Joe. I, yeah, you know what? Hello. Introduce yourselves. Hi, <laughs> my name is Joe. I talk about things <laughs> on the Wreck My Podcast <laughs> podcast. Hi. <laughs> hey, I'm uh, this is this is Cam. I'm the one that Jordan always says the weirdest shit in, in the intro. Yep, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm Craig and I'm happy to be here. <laughs> he, he likes well, free that's, things. That's everyone. If you if you watch this show at all, you already know all yeah, three. Yeah, you guys true, have been yeah. the like consistent guests the past like month. I am Cam and I'm an alcoholic. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's also, all I thought of was <laughs> Hi Cam. Uh, <laughs> so the would you rather question should we play the intro again? No, I'm just kidding. The would, would you rather? rather question is would you rather be trapped in an elevator okay. full of men with BO? Oh. <laughs> or three soaked dogs. Three soaked dogs. Oh, three soaked abs- dogs. You, that's not even. Everyone a hard, thinks three soaked that's dogs. That's not even a hard question. Yeah. But now here are my pros and cons. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Give us because start uh, thinking about because you're not just you're stuck in there, stuck like, in the elevator. For pros. How long? Okay. For yeah, we need we need time frame. A one hour. Okay. Yeah. Oh, three soaked dogs. We okay. we, we got to make it harder than that. It's got to be like at least a, a day. day, five hours. Full twenty four hours. A full cha- twenty four elevator hours, challenge. Stuck. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. Where's your pros and cons? Cam? Pros and cons of elevator full of uh, stinky men? None. Pros <laughs> of hanging out in an elevator with three really, really wet dogs? Three yeah. dogs. You get to pet three dogs. Yeah. <laughs> now, here's my, I'm going to play devil's advocate a little bit here. You do acclimate to smells, though. Now, if you had the, the, the men there, they'd be able to help you with stuff, like trying to get out of the elevator if you're stuck there for but, like, right, a day. Well, how, how many men? Because what you make it seems it like it's sardines. It says full of men. I know, because yeah, that's like, the problem. Yeah, packed in there? You know, B-O? It, I would no, say not you. full, because I feel like that's not a fair uh, assessment. If it's like full of anything, you're not going to want to be the full of right. anything. You know, yeah, So I'm going to say three, three, of each. three of each. Three men with B.O., three dogs that are soaked. Because here's the other problem, is those men with B.O., they can kind of control their bladder and what's going on. Those dogs aren't going to be able to control that. So you're going to have actually poopy. a valid point. You're going to have pee pee. You're going to your your to- <laughs> you're gonna, that the elevator floor is going to be a cesspool well, of though, dog fluid. At the same time, if you're there for 24 hours, all three of those men are going to have to go at one point. Not poop. You can hold that, but pee. Yeah, you can oh, establish I, a I pee ain't corner. Dump. I'm pooping in that corner. <laughs> 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 really? Yeah. I, uh, yeah. That's dude. just a, no. We'll hoist you up, make you get on top of the elevator, and poop over the side. But then the problem is, it's gonna like hit one of the top tiles. It's gonna fall in, and it's gonna f- rain poop. It's <laughs> raining. You just get the streak down the elevator. Yeah. Wall. No, they have steel roofs. It's just they have the little tiles underneath it. I work with elevators. I know this. Oh, are they cool? Like, d- they good people? <laughs> <laughs> so you everyone, good people. <laughs> everyone, this was kind of a softball for our first round. So everyone's in agreement. Three soaked dogs. Because, I mean, dogs are adorable. Yeah. yeah. I'd rather be stuck for 24 hours with dogs than with people. Also, yeah. to be fair, I'd probably pee on the floor before the dogs do. <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. the big thing. I'd rather be stuck on, with on, dogs <laughs> rather than people. Yeah. Honestly, dogs, another uh, reason why dogs are better because if you pee or poop in the corner, you'd be like, oh, that was a dog. Oh, yeah, that, was, yeah. <laughs> like, that looks really big for that tiny t- chihuahua you have in here. Yeah, and I'm like, hey, you ate a big meal. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> if, if it's three chihuahuas, I might change my answer. Not going to lie. Why? You got plenty of space in there. They're going to take true. up no room at all. That most but of them chihuahuas. Got, but if you got they're three, aggressive? Yeah, but if you got three Great Danes in the elevator with you, you're yeah, a lot more the, cramped. That would be the cuddliest elevator ride ever. Yeah. yeah that and another so pro of having the dogs is you have like a built-in furry pillow for when you need to sleep. Yeah. Hell yeah. It's wet. You, you, they you try. Got, you got one as That's a also pillow. Another you thing. got one as a blanket. That's you, also another thing. The dogs will dry. Mm-hmm. The human bo will not go away until they take a shower. No, yes. anything. The bo is just going to get worse. Just yeah, it's going to get worse. It's going to turn yeah. into this amalgam uh, of just like and bo is, tornado. BO is one of my things that like ugh, just repulses you. You can't smell yeah. yourself, dude. Like come no, they can't. On. That's kind of the point. I there are things, two things on the planet, three things on the planet that make me disgusted and grossed out body odor like really stinky man bo yeah that when sucks. people like hawk loogies and spit mm-hmm. like if that happens i will instantly vomit don't do it <laughs> um, <laughs> and ranch dressing interesting I, ranch i don't dressing. mind ranch but mayo grosses me out yeah i'm not a fan of mayo <laughs> not that what was that <laughs> no no that was mayo no no that wasn't a hawk i'm so sorry that wasn't meant to do that he literally Can't. said don't do this no but i was sucking in like mayo <laughs> No. Yeah, it's okay. It was really similar sound. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm now very curious. How often do you suck in mayo? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, more than he wants There's to admit. Do you remember, enough do you remember, to know what the, it sounds like. Cam, do you remember Coach Thurm back at Heart? Yeah. <laughs> when, when I was on this football team, get a mini fridge in his classroom. One kid opened it up. There was a family sized tub of mayo. That doesn't in surprise there. me. And so we always make jokes it's like he takes a straw and just. Like, I, uh, yeah, I won't. Yeah. I won't reenact. You can do it. that because now I know what you're doing. Okay. Uh, it sounded very similar. I thought you. No, were see, I was doing that for the mayo, not the hawk and yeah. Um, yeah. One you, time, I legitimately thought you were about to throw up. I almost it did. Looked like it. <laughs> um, <laughs> one of my uh, <laughs> first girlfriends. One time we were at Disneyland, um, and she. <laughs> Hocked Sorry. a loogie into her hand. Oh, then, oh my god! Oh. And then held it. Oh. And I, okay, that's so hard to tell this story. Oh. And then I was like, "What are you doing?" And she was like, "Well, I didn't want to spit on the floor." Mm-hmm. And I was like, "So you spat it in your hand? Like, where are you gonna put it?" <laughs> and then like she like wiped it on a bush. <laughs> you guys are outside at Disneyland. Yeah. Did she want to hold your hand afterwards? Yep. Did you did you hold her hand? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have either. I uh, ask how long I dated her for. Uh, at one uh, minute after one that more hour? happened? Five years. Oh, <laughs> oh damn. Yeah. After the incident. After the incident, five years. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Cam stays. 
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Cam was depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's just Cam. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we're moving into our next round. Yeah, that was a pretty easy would you rather. I wanted to yeah. pick one that wouldn't be too like crazy for our first one. So, would you rather? Would you rather? So that's that. Rather? So now we're moving into our next segment. I have another fun thing. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's our cue that we are going to be talking about some beer. Oh, well, yeah. So we're only going to do one, fruit. would you rather? What? We're only going to do, we're only gonna do one, but we have another question later. Okay. Yeah, okay. don't worry. We'll get through these segments here. So we're talking about our beer review of the Brute IPA from Sierra Nevada. Yeah. So let me tell you guys a little bit uh, about uh, this Brute IPA. It is a new style of beer, first showing up in California at the end of 2017, so it hasn't been very long. It's notable for its effervescence and extreme dryness. Pale straw to pale gold, this style is intended to be lighter in color and body than a typical American IPA. For that reason, the mash is often some combination of Pilsner malt, wheat, corn, and or rice. The addition of any amylase enzyme reduces the final gravity even further. Bitterness is also kept to a minimum. Fruit-forward flavors and aromas are achieved by late hopping, dry hopping, and the use of neutral ale yeast strains. In short, these beers are highly attenuated. I don't know even what that means. They're highly attenuated, late hopped IPAs inspired by the appearance and mouthfeel of champagne. And this specific one says on the back, this is our Brute IPA, a new take on IPA brewed for a bone dry champagne style finish. Late hop additions give the beer balanced bitterness and a bright pop of citrus flavor. It's as intriguing as it is drinkable. Now, what do you guys think of this beer now we've had a little bit of time to drink it? I think with the description about it having the same mouthfeel and color as champagne, I totally agree. The bubbles are super tiny and really nice on the mouth. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Did that tickle your fancy (laughs) crater? Does Preparation H feel good on the whole? I wouldn't know. (laughs) Um, But I'm not an IPA fan. Um, But here's the thing. I am not either, but I love this beer because I feel like it's like a Pilsner was sitting next to an IPA for a little while. Yeah, mm. kind of like absorbed some of its yeah, like aroma. It's, but it has flavor. that bite. It's a, it's a LaCroix IPA. Yeah, it's a LaCroix IPA. And it, it definitely doesn't bite. have the like the overpowering bitterness no, of a regular IPA. No, definitely not yeah. super Honestly, bitter. Like, cause when, uh, sorry to interrupt you, but like I used to enjoy IPAs, and I feel like I, everyone's like, oh, we love IPAs. And like companies are now like, let's make them as potent as possible. Possible. Yeah, and they're like too just, much now. They're like, we want it to punch you in the jaw with all bitterness. Like <laughs> that's all what like they are now. So I'm okay with the bitterness, right? Mm. Like that's fine. But uh, just that hop flavor where it tastes like a Christmas tree ejaculated yeah, on your lips, that like piney, the, yeah, or what they call what the kids call dank. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be something else. <laughs> I said I said dank to my students, and they were like, they were what? like "What are you thirty? And what I was like, that? "Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's my age." Yeah. What's um, my age again? And so uh, nice, <laughs> but I know this Wait, is the easiest Craig, to drink IPA. I've say ever that had. joke again, definitely. <laughs> What's my age again? <laughs> oh, we have a sad bassoon for Craig. <laughs> I love or, it. Or sometimes we have the sad slide guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta remember I have this soundboard here. Yeah. Oh, and I keep forgetting to change the picture. Oh, yeah. So oh, here's that. The we, also need to, we also need to get an easy Joe Cubis sounder. No, but you know what? I was yeah, gonna try. Actually, we do. I was gonna that. try and bring this uh, sound effect in naturally and organically, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to. But I have one here that I love. I saw like the most pubes in my life. <laughs> 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 yep, that's what you should have done after the intro. Hi, I'm Cam. I saw the most pubes in my life. <laughs> but we were saying Cam was depressed. I should have put that in. I totally missed my spot. I missed it. I, for- I forgot that I even said that. Yes. Oh, I loved it. I loved it. Uh, so anyway, no, coming back to this. Beer, yeah, coming back to the beer now. <laughs> um, oh man, it's not as dry as your typical sh- brute champagne. Yeah. No. Well, of course, because it's like a beer style of it, but it's definitely more dry than your typical beer. True. You know, it's got that bite that champagne does have. Like, it's not the it's not as much, but it's definitely there. And I like it. It's almost like you're drinking like sparkling water, but sparkling beer. So I kind of like it. Yeah. I like that. I yeah. think it's a good sessionable beer. You know, that's Would good... you be able to make a mimosa out of this? 
Like a beer mosa? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Beer mosa. Yeah, it'd probably be the best beer mosa that you've had. Yeah. Probably, yeah. A 6.2% so, alcohol? Yes, yeah, 6.2% only has 25 IBUs for an IPA. Wow. So it's low wow. on the inter- in the bitterness. Well, you can tell, yeah. Yeah, said that it right has away. a 3.53 stars out of 5 uh, on untapped. That's 9,413 ratings. So it's like... Yeah. Right in the middle there. What did you give it on? on I, I think I gave it like a 3.5 or 3.75. Mm. Uh, so I wasn't, it's nothing Gordon, special, but it's drinkable. It. Yeah, it's for, drinkable. In some I middle. have a question. Yeah. What are you up to on Untapped? I was like, about to say, for those of you who don't know, his I, beer I think count I'm closing on in on 1,300 unique beers, Jeez. which is not that much, actually, because some of the beer people I follow are 1,300 in a year. Like they posted their 2018, like what they did, and it was like 1,350 unique beers. And I'm like, Damn, how do you drink well, that at much? One point, how do you, you afford were, that much? Yeah, 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 seriously. That's big, yeah. yeah, that's true. At one point, it seemed like you were almost on pace for that kind, those kind of numbers just because you were having so many different beers. Yeah, but now I, I chill. Like, I maybe have one or two new beers a chill. week. Yeah, see, chill, I, yeah. I, when, you, when you told me about that, I downloaded it and I started doing it. But, like, the two things. One, I don't have an attention span to keep that up. And two, I'm way too nice. Everything's like a 4.5. Yeah. Well, I skew, I skew pretty high, too. I don't think – I think I gave Bud Light, like, a 1.5. Because So like, I skew pretty high. Yeah. You know? Well, it's like, like beer is beer. Like, even when not it's not – true. Beer well, is not beer. Here's the thing. <laughs> I, th- I feel like beer is beer. <laughs> There's differences. We're going to get into the theological debate of whether beer is beer. beer. I think, therefore, I am. I beer, for therefore, I drunk. Yeah. And I mean, yeah. To, to be fair, it depends on what frequency both of you guys are vibrating at anyway and the way you perceive it. I'm at like a do, do 38 want- decibel. I'm like... <laughs> 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 so you guys want to hear some reviews that people gave on Untapped? Sure. I love that. Um, it depends on what frequency you vibrate at. So, I'm like, damn, I'm vibrating pretty good right now. <laughs> I was like, I'm not. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into yeah. this portion oh, of the right. show. Right. Where no. are you guys vibrating at today? <laughs> oh my god! And in Joe's new segment, the yeah. vibration corner. <laughs> I'm, I'm sweating. I know, right? <laughs> okay, um, you're on. So, low so connection. here's some uh, some of the reviews. So, one of the higher reviews was 4.5 stars, and the the comment they put on was just. Pickle Rick! <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what does that have to do with this beer? There's nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. But one of the lower reviews uh, was a one star. It says, I really love Sierra Nevada, but this one is off the mark. Dry as a bone, no bitterness, and certainly no citrus notes. Well, first off, I think it's supposed to be dry. That's like everything it's that they're going for. You said dry as a bone. It even says yeah. a bone dry. Yeah, it, <laughs> exactly. Is, so is that plagiarism? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Their, um, their complaint was that the beer came out exactly they were supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, and one person wrote, which I love, why don't we call these dry PAs? Oh, man. Nice pun. Dry yeah. PA. Yeah. yeah, missed opportunity there. Missed. Oh, shit. <laughs> There we go. Um, okay, so <laughs> let's move in to our next segment, which is going to be hard to do. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, it is. yeah, so here we go. Yeah. Look at that. Ladies and it's, gentlemen, we are getting high tech in this tech place. Over here. Uh, We're this, into the news stories. This is the Plank My Podcast News. Yeah. Starring Jordan Tyler, Joseph Cubis. Cameron Money Molitor. <laughs> Money? Jo- jo- <laughs> Joseph Gordon Cubis. <laughs> what did you call me? Uh, Joshua- Joseron. Joseron, that's right. Joseron Cubis. Um, okay, so yeah, this is where we talk about some news stories and some stuff going on. Just some fun things or articles that we come across. I'll start it off. Uh, did you guys know that Black Panther is returning to theaters for free screenings in honor of Black History Month? I did. I saw that. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Black Panther continues its march to the Oscars. Audiences will have a second chance to ke- catch the Best Picture nominee on the big screen. Marvel announced Monday Black Panther will return at participating AMC theaters on February 1st through the 7th in honor of Black History Month. Disney CEO Bob Iger tweeted, tickets will be free for all ages. So wow. you just have to pretty much go and check like check into it, and you get a free ticket to go see Black Panther. So if you want to check it out again or you didn't have a chance to see it in theaters when it was around originally, now you get to. Was Black Panther the highest grossing Marvel movie? No. It was until Infinity War came out. Mm-hmm. Which makes sense. Yeah. And it will be, and Infinity War will be until Endgame comes out. Pretty much. Yeah. So that's my new story. Nice. Free movies. I got a, pretty cool. a new story for you. What's your new story for me? Um, Specifically I, for me or for our listeners? Well, no, for our listeners, because I had actually well, texted you about you this just give me um, one. Uh, just give me one. earlier in the week. 
but I had just found out um, The Rock posted something on Instagram basically stating how wrestler Roman Reigns will be in the new Fast and Furious installment, um, oh, yeah, I saw Hobbs that. and Shaw. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's funny because that's him I stoked on this segment. So we're we're pulling that early. <laughs> you said who has news. Yeah, there's your news. <laughs> Those were no. the news yeah, no, that no, I found awesome. out like three days ago. Here's the, arrives early. Here's the great news. I see what he means to. Yes. <laughs> um, so what the good news about that is is that uh, Roman Reigns was fighting leukemia still is but he's able yeah. to go do this which is good news actually what <laughs> I, 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 my mind was already like ooh who is he fighting this soundboard is ridiculous yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> alright so Cam you got a new yeah. story for did us did you guys see that uh First thing, Ariana Grande debuted two number so- one songs in a row. Oh, back wow. Back singles, right? Wait, man, she still has music? I thought everyone was just crazy about her tattoos. So oh. this is what this is about. Uh, oh, so, I love the tattoo story. Um, <laughs> she got, uh, well, the first tattoo I got excited about is Cole messaged me of Cole Fan Enterprises, and he told me that uh, Ariana Grande has an EV tattoo now. Yeah. And I was like, yes. She does. Wow. Um, mm-hmm. I know. It makes she may have way. just kind of gotten yeah, up on the totem pole. And she's going to get a cover, a cover of it on top of it when she, she, she evolves. She still looks like she's yeah. 20 from years Ariana old. Grande but, to Ariana but, Mucho Grande. Um, so Mucho here's the headline. It says, Ariana Grande's new tattoo fails, says barbecue grill in Japanese instead of seven yeah. rings. Mm-hmm. Did she do her, that on purpose? No, nope. her new song, Seven Rings, came out. And individually, the, the characters mean seven and ring. Yeah, but together it means barbecue grill. <laughs> <laughs> I love um, that. That's amazing. I've heard she's try, She's like tried fixing that or something. Yeah, I don't know, but right. like, so maybe good. she needs to put a colon. Yeah, but she has it on her wrist now, <laughs> and, um, or on, on her hand. Colon goes busted. Oh man, that's so funny because that's like, oh, is that on the it's inside on of the hand though? Palm? Yeah, it's on so her that's gonna fade away after about oh, yeah. five or six years. Yeah, yeah that's what gonna a be stupid gone. Like, spot to get a tattoo. Like, yeah, yeah, just get, we could help it out a little bit. I was gonna say, you know how uh, Snoop Dogg was Snoop Line later in life. Do you think she'll be Ariana Barbara Vente <laughs> later in life? Yeah, you booed yourself on that one. Yes, I did. I've always thought of her more Ari- Ariana Paquita. Ariana Paquita, she gets smaller as she gets older. She's, she's a tiny person. She's yeah. a tiny person that always has a ponytail. She, she, I, 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 uh, I can't talk. Um, she is. I've You're always thought her music is spot pretty then. like decent, but I've never. I thought she's been a little bit overhyped, and then this whole when Mac Miller died, mm-hmm. how she's handled it has made me slightly less of a fan. Because she's kind of. Do like, you want to expand on that? Because I don't know what you're talking about. She's kind of attention grabbing. Yeah, me. but have you ever heard it into you? <laughs> I think so. Less conversation <laughs> and a little more touch my body. She does have a great <laughs> voice. I will say, if you've ever did, like, Ariana Grande just show up on our podcast. Yeah, she's here. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Thanks, if you, Ariana. If, if, if you so ever have, um, check out on like uh, YouTube. Like she goes on like the Jimmy Kimmel show. Yeah. And like they'll do like it's kind of like a roulette of. Singing, they pick a song and then you have to sing like this person. Oh, so yeah, I like, see that. She did a really Mary good had job. Little Lamb, but like Christina Aguilera, and like oh, it's... I think you. I, someone sent that to me. Maybe it was Madison. But yeah, no, I don't like, know. So she has great vocal range, but like her as a person, it's not been good lately. It, it's yeah, been kind I of. Didn't, like, I didn't, we can't no judge idea just by you how knew Ariana reacts. Grande as a as a person. Wait, yeah, we, he we calls way, her Ari. We go way back. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So what's your new story? Um, my my new story. Um, she was so, Ariana, um, I couldn't find any actual <laughs> articles about this, but I was listening to the Rich Eisen show, and they had on Terrell Davis. You know, we have two Broncos fans here. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. And so, um, Cam, uh, I remember you telling me you um, suffer from migraines. Yeah. And um, Jordan, you said you sometimes get them as well, correct? No, I said I've never gotten a migraine. Oh, okay. Anyway, <laughs> I get them five uh, times. Opposite a week. ends. He gets them all for okay. me. Okay. He anyway, suffers you're from still stuff fan. he knows every now so, and then. So, um, yeah. Terrell Davis was on there talking about, and I looked it up, but I couldn't find the exact article where it describes but he said there he um he is involved with cbd and there's i believe he said it was some kind of a drink and he said he doesn't get um uh, migraines anymore and he suffered with really really bad yeah. ones and so because he's he's you know in colorado yeah and he's heavily involved in the cbd and uh cannabis yep mm-hmm. um industry out there so so he's has, telling me that my favorite player of all time likes pot as much as i do he he's he's uh, actually i, there you was, go. I it was, was meant in, to in my be. research looking up trying to find this drink which i couldn't find um uh, I looked up and like he's uh, heavily into um, the CBD and cannabis uh, That's marijuana amazing. out in uh, yeah. um, well, Denver, and you know he's uh, he's also trying to get minorities involved because yeah. he is a minority. Right. So 
I use a uh, CBD for my migraines too, mm-hmm. and uh, that's the only. Does it thing, work? It's the only thing that has ever given me any kind of relief, and it's non psychoactive. It's just, uh, it's a derivative of it's a, it's a cannabidinoid, which just means it's a part of the plant that's non psychoactive. Yeah, and it really helps with inflammation and relaxing you when you have a migraine. It's incredible. Oh, yeah, I use CBD for my uh, glaucoma. <laughs> 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 My eyes itch. <laughs> this podcast is brought to you by CBD oils. <laughs> it puts a whole other it puts a whole other layer to the mile high salute. Right? Yes, <laughs> I love it. That's yeah. great. That's great. So those are our news stories this week. Uh, let's move in to our next segment. While we haven't heard or seen it, there is something to perceive in the whole time that hype give us something to believe. Although they chose to focus emphasis, we're forming a hypothesis, but all we really know is that we're stoned on this, stoned on this, stoked on this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the stoked on this. <laughs> That's the song that. What was that? You want to try the other beer? No, let's go through Stoked on this, and then we'll get the next okay. one. Uh, yeah. So that's a song that Ben from Petrified Gumbo Neat. Music made for us, and then we canceled that show and moved it into this show, so I thought I'd still throw it on here. Yeah, definitely. It yeah. works. Yeah, I love that song. It's great. So, guys, are you guys fans of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or no? No. I've no. never watched a single I've never episode. seen Actually, a Actually, I started episodes. watching well, a little bit, but it was it was a bit derivative. Of what? No, okay, of the Marvel no, movies. No, it, honestly, it, it didn't really catch my attention. I tried to get into it, and it just was like, it "Here's was the problem: like, the first season man. is awful, and they do this thing where like one season will be great, and the next season's kind of whatever, and the next season's great." So I get why people aren't into it, but season six just had a teaser come out, uh-huh. uh, teasing like Agent Coulson coming back. Uh, th- what they're changing is it's a mini season of thirteen episodes compared to twenty-two, which I am a huge fan of because no more of that boring crap going on. Uh, and it has a seventh season lined up, so that's kind of weird. But what's interesting is that it's coming out in the summer of this year rather than in the spring like it normally does. So I'm assuming something happens in Endgame that's going to have some there type has of... To be. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah, effect on the show. I thought the show was like all before... No, Avengers it's it's during all the stuff oh, going yeah. on right now. And Anthony Michael Hall is going to be in it. Oh, cool. Yeah, so that's interesting. Hey, I noticed you have a Welcome to Twin Peaks shirt on, Cam. I do. I just started watching Twin Peaks for the first time ever. And? And I only watched the pilot. Did you fall asleep? I was going to say, if people didn't tell me that this show is so good, I would have never, I'm not, I wouldn't go past the first episode, <laughs> but I'm going to trudge along. It is long. It is slow. It, it is. And the acting is awful no it's stiff on purpose because david lynch directed it i feel like you're describing he, a porno david <laughs> it feels like a well, mix between a porno and a soap david opera. lynch directs people to be stiff and wooden like that to give it like a weird surrealist vibe that's the only reason why he does it did david lynch do seven no no who was that who did seven not david lynch who what did david what is morgan other freeman david and lynch david lynch has done blue velvet eraser head mulholland drive i've seen none of those <sighs> It's a good drive. Twin Peaks. <laughs> um, he's done uh, Lost Highway. Well, then that makes sense why it's weird to me, because I don't watch David Lynch stuff, so that yeah, makes that, a little bit sense. Yeah, his whole thing is that he's weird. That's All I thought was going into this, I thought it was going to be this super crazy sci-fi, which I know that it gets to a point where it's kind of like X-File-ish, and you're trying to figure out what's going on and who's doing what, yeah, but the, it yeah. seems like everyone is cheating on everyone in this town. Yeah. It yeah. seems like everyone... And Jordan doesn't like that. No, I don't like that. It also seems like everyone in this town is just like so weird and maybe that that like <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah i don't know i just everything about it made me think that this felt like i was watching a lifetime movie oh well, no it's also, it's like if the life if a, the lifetime network was having a nightmare okay well i'm gonna give it a little bit yeah. longer but like it's funny too because the first episode ends where the mom of the dead chick screaming while someone's picking up the locket that's being hidden yeah and i'm like what does that like? What does that even have to do with anything? This did makes you, no sense. Did, uh, did he throw rocks at a glass jar yet? Did no. Agent Dale Cooper? No. You're gonna fall in love with Agent Dale. Well, I already love that guy as an actor because he's also <laughs> yeah. in Agents of Shield for a few seasons. Oh, Kyle MacLachlan's in it. Yeah, he's he's great too. Oh, he's amazing. I, I, I always him. prefer to him. I told Madison we started watching it, and I go, you know, he's the dude that looks like he has too much Botox in his face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Agent Dale. Yeah, yeah, that's him. <laughs> Special <laughs> Agent Dale Cooper. I think you also need to remember the time frame that this was in. I mean, granted, it was the Game of Thrones of the 90s, 
But it, it was, was still the 90s. Here's the problem. Yeah. It was 1990 that it came out, but it looks like it was filmed in the 60s. When I watch Dirty Harry, it feels the same as watching this movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's my problem with it. Yeah, David, but I'm going to get over it. David Lynch it. is one of my favorite directors because his style is so stiff and weird and awkward because it yeah. feels like you have so much distance from the actual material. Mm-hmm. You're not made I, to relate to it. It's no, just made no to, Dutch like, angles? No. <laughs> I did enjoy some of the random stuff, though. There were times where I laughed just because of sheer... I, I guess randomness is where they walk into the bank and there's the deer head just laying oh, and yeah. they both look at it weird and she goes, it fell down. Oh, and like, <laughs> yeah, like these yeah. weird moments happen where you're like, I don't understand why this is a thing. What's but up with it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of funny though. Cause it's just so freaking random. Everything going on. Yeah. Now question you went to Dallas, Texas. Did yes. you go to twin peaks? <laughs> that story <laughs> so there is a restaurant called twin peaks which is kind of like a hooters and i didn't know that i shout thought, out twin peaks yeah i thought it was just a regular restaurant but their tagline is dinner with a view or something like that <laughs> so my innocent brain thinks oh maybe it has a bunch of scenery mural murals and stuff like that around so me and madison my wife are there and we're staying down there and we go it's right across from the hotel we have traveled all day let's just go get dinner there and we walk in and i'm talking to her so i don't even like realize what's going on and she goes uh yeah let's not stay here and i'm like why and we go up to the hostess and she's pretty much wearing like a thong and a bra Madison's such a party pooper. And I was like, oh, <laughs> it's one of these places. I don't, and then I went, I, don't I get it. Problem. Twin Peaks. I get it. <laughs> Boobies. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. So. Uh, They're more like mountains. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, how, how was uh, your frequency vibrating? Oh, it was vibrating. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what are you stoked on, Joe? Joe Saron. No, I prefer uh, Jabubis. Jabubis. <laughs> Jabubis. Um, well, there was the whole Roman Reigns thing. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's, you know, super um, cute. Rewind about five minutes ago. I think I mentioned that. Yep, yep. Why yep. does your rewind sound so slurpy? <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Cam? You ever like, you... put in a VHS tape and hit rewind? It's just like... <laughs> That's when the tape's like flapping out the side <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not really excited for Ew. anything in pop culture, but I'm yeah. excited because I direct the play at my school and a whole bunch of stuff I ordered got delivered today. Yes. And so I just get to go to work tomorrow and like just open stuff like it's and I get And I get to see everything that you ordered too because oh, it yeah. shows me on the Amazon that's link. True. That's true. I was looking through and I'm like, that's oh, that's kind of cool. creepy. That's cool. Like a bunch of like prop set stuff. Yeah. Like you cannot there. wait for the first person to buy like a sex toy. Like, I know, oh, yeah. you go with well, your vibrator. Because I do this for another podcast, Breaker and Bane. I, I use their Amazon link. Right. And I bought my brother a, uh, like, on the toilet golf set. Where it's <laughs> like a thing where when you're sitting down in the toilet, you can play golf. Yeah, is and it they're like, like the, the, the putter pooper. Or something? Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah. And and they said on air, they're like, who bought the putter pooper? And I had to tweet them. I'm like, that was me. You can't, you can't see who ordered it. You can just see right. what oh. people ordered through the link. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Can see start all ordering some obscure stuff. So yeah. have, you, have you used it? I've used it, but I can't because my it's in my name. No, he's talking about the putter pooper. Oh, the putter pooper. No, yeah. that was sent to my brother. I never used it. He lives in Arizona. I'm sure he used it. <laughs> We're going to need a, uh, a review. Yeah. Thomas, send us a video. Maybe. <laughs> and it's going in now. Now. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, right. putter makes such a weird sound. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of things with Krager makes weird noises, yeah. apparently. Oh, that's funny. Sorry. So, Krager, what are you stoked on this week? Um, <clears throat> it's kind of a long way out. Uh, it comes out, um, I think, mid-2019. But um, but uh, Dave Batista, and let me see if I don't butcher his name. Um, <clears throat> Drax. Camille, uh, Camille uh, Nanjani. Yeah, Camille Nanjiani. Camille that Nanjiani. Name familiar. Uh, yeah, so basically, uh, he's a guy, um, uh, Mike and Dave doing wedding dates. He was a masseuse. Oh, yeah, yeah, and I know who you're talking um, about. Yeah, he's the Pakistani uh, guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So um, there's a movie coming out later where uh, in 2019, it's called Stuber. Um, a detective uh, reigns in uh, an Uber driver and they solve crimes together. And so. It's got Dave Batista, who, so you yeah. it's gonna be good. And uh, Camille, I've heard some interviews, and like it's gonna be really, Batista really funny. Batista playing the Uber driver. And he's got it. <laughs> he's probably the detective. Come on, dude. Literally, that that sounds like I... you're typecasting a little bit there, Gregor. <clears throat> Honestly, one of my favorite parts on, of um, <laughs> Infinity War. Is when Batista's like, I'm moving so slow, you can't even see it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's like eating the, the chip. chip. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite is the fact that he um he uh, ad-libbed the line that's like one of the best lines in the movie was like, I'll do you one better. 
what is um Gamora. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so funny. That guy's pretty good. But I wouldn't say that He's is, good people. Is he going to be starring? Like, he's going to be the lead actor in this movie? Yeah. I don't That'll know be the if he first can take time. on yeah. a lead That'll role. That'll be the first That's time a... lead role. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Because the movies he's been in have been good, but he's never been a lead. So we shall see. Then again, The Rock, you know, he did, like, Scorpion King and stuff, which... which... One, of, one of the funniest jokes that uh, ever happened to uh, Cole, he um, kept on getting Scorpion 2... Uh, Oh, what's it called? Scorpion Two on Blu-ray. What what's the Scorpion subtitle King? of it? Scorpion oh, King. Yeah, Scorpion, Scorpion King, King more Two. More Scorpion. Yeah, more Scorpion. <laughs> uh, one of our old friends, James, kept on sending that to him like every year for Christmas. <laughs> for, like, like a, a Blu-ray. <laughs> That's yeah. so funny. So now he's got ten of them on his shelf. Yeah. So we have to like all, all, all of us find it and send it to him at some oh, point. That would be so he would funny. Lose his, he would lose his mind. That's yeah, he'll never know who it came from because he never listens. He doesn't listen to this. He doesn't. I mean, yeah, of course he does. Oh, I was about to say <laughs> he only supports it financially. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't yeah. mean you listen. Yeah, he has much. so much money uh, to throw around. Yeah, <laughs> make it rain. Uh, okay. When is he? Like uh, Roman. I know he was recently here. When's he coming back? Probably Thanksgiving. No, oh, did, no, no, you yeah. said he's um uh, come back for uh, back to the beach, right? Maybe. maybe. Oh, maybe. 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 Yeah. Back to the beach. Oh, so you're you know, telling you know, me there's that, a chance. That's what I'm that's stoked, what you're stoked on. on. Back yeah. to the beach. I'm stoked on that too. Blink 182. What are all the other people on there? Real big fish. Story of the year. Yeah, real big fish. Um. Streetlight Manifesto. Mm. Are they still Aquabats. around? Yeah, yeah, they are. What? Yeah, I saw them last year. Are they the ones that are like uh, a nine millimeter in a three piece suit? Yeah, okay. Uh, what? Yeah. 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 Except that was Catch 22, but it's the, oh. the the singer from that became Streetlight. Oh, really? Yeah. I always get Catch 22 and Streetlight mixed up. They're the same yeah. for the first two albums. Yeah. It's Scott to me, like, I'm not in it enough to differentiate as much as I am other Tell genres. me more. Yeah. <laughs> tell me more about Scott. Well, I mean. No, just kidding. I'm not going to tell you more. Yeah. Mr. Yeah, Scott. So, <clears throat> Cameron Scott right right <laughs> I, will, I will run through it quickly for our listeners. So we have Blink-22, The Used, Goldfinger, with special guest, uh, the, the Story So Far, Real Big Fish, Anthony Green, Street Fighter Manifesto. Streetlight. Street Street Light. Light. Um, Street Fighter yeah. Manifesto would be an amazing <laughs> band name, though. Um, um, Joe Ryu. Cubis, um, Joe Cubis' favorite, Aquabats. Yeah. Um, Less Than Jake, The Wonder Years, Save Ferris, Story of the Year, The English Beat, yeah, story of the Teenage year. Wrist, um, the, Down, the Drowns, and Low Lives. Yeah, nice. Story of the and Year more. is probably and the one more. I'm most excited for. Now, Goldfinger, do you consider them... What What? What do you consider them? They're kind of punk. I say skate, reggae. I would say punk. punk. Yeah. I would say skate punk. Yeah, but it's, they got like some reggae to it, too. Like yeah, some their songs. they were a ska band in their like, first yeah. album, and then they're a yeah. skate punk band, and then they were just like a pop punk band. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I was in Tahoe recently, and I don't know if this is too mainstream kind of ska for you, Cam. But listening to you know music going down yeah. up and down the mountain, the song, the impression that I get oh, by, yeah. the mighty, by the mighty mighty, mighty Boston, Boston. yeah, came on. Oh man, I love that song. Uh, going down a mountain, bum, skiing bum, and snowboarding, bum, listening bum, to that bum, song was bum, bum, so bum, much fun. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been close to tragedy? I don't. I don't have that close hot to key. Folks you My had. bad. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't put that one in. Um, <laughs> have okay. you ever felt the pain you so take powerful? A, so have you? You want to take a beer collapse? break then, real quick, to yeah. uh, to get this new beer? No, we'll all give we it a shot. Be right we'll be right back here. I'll, I'll play us Jordan, out. With you know this. what song uh, we're talking about, right? No. So we're back from our little beer break now. Yeah. And we're uh, trying tight. a beer new beer. What beer are we trying here? We're trying the Effin Birthday Cake Imperial Porter by Local Craft Beer Company. Uh, it has 11% alcohol. It says about this beer, chocolate, maple syrup, strawberries, and powdered sugar make this imperial pastry porter drink like an effing birthday cake. Named by Buns the Brewer, the only <laughs> thing better than the beer is the backstory. Keep cold, drink fresh, unfiltered, and super hoppy. Sediment is normal, so let it settle and leave it behind. Always pour into a glass. Cheers, LCB Brewmasters. Um, so you know what's funny about this is we I tried this beer at my birthday last year. We did a little like beer tasting thing yeah. for my birthday, and someone brought effing birthday cake, and it had so much sediment in it. It was disgusting. Like literally the whole top layer of my glass was just 
nasty cake looking stuff. It doesn't seem so to be this the, uh, one doesn't have much sediment. I see one little itty bitty speck and that's it, which is nice. I so, like that that thing said the only thing better than it is the backstory and then they don't tell you the backstory. Well, no, well, the best part about what, that what is, is the guy's like, name? it's Buns, Buns, Buns and the, brewer. the only thing better than it is the backstory, which just goes hand in hand with each other. Yeah, Buns okay. they, that just speaks for itself. It doesn't yeah. say when it was canned on the can, so we don't know how fresh it is, but let's give it a shot real quick here. All right. Cheers. Clink, 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 and clink. Clunk. That is a. That's a sweet beer. That's an interesting beer mm-hmm. because it's that sweet. That is very sweet. But it's also got, you could taste it's an Imperial. 100%. Yeah. I don't know if I could drink a whole thing of that. I think I might die. No, I, like, the, I like that we each have sweet. like a third of a glass. Yeah, That's yeah all I'm I glad need. that I have about three ounces. That's all I could taste of this. It's I, so this, sweet that this, I just kind of want to chug it and not drink it anymore. It, yeah, God bless it you tastes go. like a brown ale. Had mm. like, so. Has you know that those <laughs> yeah, you know those German chocolate cakes that just taste kind of weird. Yeah, it tastes like that to me. It kind of honestly almost it, like it's too rich. You know, no, what, like what, a Fawn's German chocolate what, cake. Like what it's it dried really, out. What it tastes like is someone like all I can latch onto is the maple syrup. So it, it tastes That's like taste that too. one douchebag friend who like pours like something in your drink. You're like ha. Ah. Yeah, it's, it's just very sweet. It smells really funky too. Like a yeah. funky monkey. Yeah, I would say that I, this is the first time ever that I would ever pick an IPA over a porter. You that, know what's weird? We had, the same day. It's got too much going on because you can taste the too strawberries. Many like as I lick my lips, mm-hmm. I taste yeah. like I just ate a strawberry, and that's yeah. super weird. It's just too much. So it's it's not, taste it's like a real lot strawberry. going you know, on. It's it got really too much does. too because like it's because it's too much. Oh, like what is it? Ten or eleven percent? Like yeah, eleven. Like I I feel like the slight burning sensation. Yeah, you know, it's not isn't drinkable. Bad, but no, it's like, this is not a drinkable beer. It also, should... this can looks like it's something that like Starbucks would sell. <laughs> Can the beers it like does, this? It totally does. Beers like this are why we need to advocate for like those you know, like I'm, eight ounce cans of beer. I am so because... glad I was I was this close. Just like screw it, I'm gonna buy the four pack. Which everyone at home, the four pack before tax and CRV was twenty two ninety nine. Well, here's the it. thing. Luckily, there was the last one. The guy's like, oh, I'll just sell you a single can. I'm like, thank you. I see people post this beer all the time that they really enjoy it. Well, they're wrong. That's I can't people say... that don't like beer that really no, enjoy it. No, because I follow mostly beer pages that are very knowledgeable about that beer and stuff the people but who I like that like are is... the girls who like the rosé I just got a I just yeah. got a mouthful of all the sediment, sediment. Yeah, I know it's at the bottom of my glass too yeah, I'm like trying to leave swirl it, it around a, trying to figure this out zoom in on the actual face yeah I zoom in that face there no good <laughs> uh, hashtag vin- vinegar strokes <laughs> hashtag <laughs> is, that is, my vinegar, vinegar strokes. strokes my vinegar strokes not like that you know you know what <laughs> do you I, actually know what your vinegar stroke looks like yeah I look oh I exclusively have them while staring at myself in a mirror <laughs> what? <laughs> That's because Cam says I saw like the most puke. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever uh, does it for you, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna say that you, this just, is a no. I on do the stare beer. in the mirror like you is good people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say I'd say no on this. Yeah, also. I think we're all gonna say a no on this beer. Yeah, I would go. That's a hard IPA. no, boy. Yeah, sure. yeah. I, I'm not a huge fan. All right, let's move into our next segment here, which our second to last segment. Oh, you got. I will say camp? what I would do is I could make a really good barbecue sauce. Sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Get that sauce. I could make a good sauce. barbecue sauce out of this and like some coffee to put on like pork ribs. Yeah, this would be actually a good marinade. Yeah, like, it'd be a really good marinade. But yeah, it's just throw it on some pork overnight. Yeah, pork go... overnight would be amazing. I need to go back to Topa Topa in Ventura and get that coffee IPA. Dude, Topa one... Topa was so good, but the problem was that was right around the part of the night where I couldn't taste anything anymore on my bachelor party. Well, yeah, also, <laughs> also, I had had so many also, weird drinks. I, I'm before. a little bit Why nervous. Why do I not remember any of this? You don't remember going to Topa Topa? That was like no. before we were like really. That was like the first. Yeah, that thing was like the did. second or third spot we hit that night, but it was about the part where I had, I had enough did weird we, alcoholic wait. beverages that it was still tasting did weird. Did we eat there? No, no it, it, it was it, where we went it, after it's a we ate. Microbrewery. We, we went to the place that we ate, like that burger spot, and then we went to Topa Topa, which is a brewery down there, and then we went to the like the clubbish tavern? type place or no, whatever. The, the, no, we oh, went to, uh, no, we went to, did we go to Rookies? No, that night was the one that was like near City Hall, that was like an old house with yeah, a pool uh, table. Yeah, that's the tavern. No, he, no he's yeah, talking okay. the tavern. The tavern? Yeah. So the no. place before we went to the tavern. This is Ventura, Topa ladies and yeah, gentlemen. Yeah, Ventura. I, this is this is great for all our listeners, because no, none of them Anyway, anyway, so I'm a little nervous because I was just thinking, your bachelor party was many a moon ago. Yes. And three moon ago. Three year moon ago. <laughs> three <laughs> moon. Three moon. <laughs> three moon. Me name. Three moon. <laughs> <laughs> that was really racist. I apologize. It was. But also that the accent was so bad we don't know what yeah, race you're I don't insulting. Know. That's the good thing about me not being able to impersonate anyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um 
I'm nervous they won't have it or it's not going to be as good. No, I'm pretty sure they do because I've seen quite a few times since then that they posted it on Instagram. Like legitimately, every time I drive through Ventura since then, I'm like, I should go get a growler. You should. It was so good because yeah. IPAs, you know, and coffee, they don't sound like they'd mix at all. And it was like the most beautiful blend. And I've tried many a coffee porter and other stuff like that where it says, oh, notes of coffee. And nothing has ever been as good as that. It's like... It's definitely the coffee has a very powerful taste to it, but yeah. it's not overpowering and it's not too IPA. It's not too coffee. It's just like this perfect blend of just happiness. It's powerful yeah. with a gentle hand. Like me. Yeah. Like Cam. Topa, 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 I saw topa, like through. the most pubes of my life. <laughs> like Cam. Yeah. Uh, all right. So we're moving into our next section here. This is. Can the... we all get a sounder? Like, uh, eventually we will. Eventually we will. That's I mean, just my favorite yeah. thing that Cam ever said. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to move on to the random question Prison here. wallet. Uh, yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. Krager. That's Krager. <laughs> wait, wait. I got I'm, the easy Joe Cuba. So we yeah. got the prison wallet. I'm and I have prison that wallet out of like ever seen. two weeks ago, that podcast. I'm going to pull prison wallet out. That'll be yours. But we're moving into the random question i actually oh i remember what my random this this i need to replace this intro song for it but uh what's wrong with uh the who? <laughs> so just like the who is asking us a random question i have some <laughs> random questions for you guys <laughs> nice. nice i couldn't think of anything else to put in for an intro song for this but then you didn't want to uh, just at the very end Random question. Random question. We got Random some questions question. and answers for you. So here we are. Here we are. You. Oh, there, and I switched the picture. Oh, if cool. you were home on a rainy Sunday afternoon, what movie would you most want to see on television? Oh. Now this begs the question: since it's on television, television, that means it has to be playing on cable, or do you get to pick what you That's want? That's what I, I think. Cable is better because yeah. you would stop and pick. While yeah, you're it, it also, because remember there was a time where we used to have to only no, watch what was yeah. on but cable. But it also, but it also kind of defines it more because like there are times where it's like there are movies where it's like no matter what part it's at, no matter what it's on, I will just watch. Yeah, it. exactly. See, and that movie that I, it's that's on. That's so funny that you mentioned that because that's that was gonna, that was the first thing I thought of. One movie that I actually own on Blu-ray, I have never seen the actual copy that I own on Blu-ray yet. Every time is, I'm flipping through channels and I see it playing, I end up watching the guess? entire thing. Hey, I yeah, guess. Can we guess? Uh, You're going to get it. Scorpion King 2. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say Forrest Gump. It is Forrest yeah. Gump. Yeah. Yeah. I know Every Joe. single time. I know On, Joe. I, I was going to say um, <clears throat> um, Goodfellas because I lived with Joe for, what was it, like two, almost two years? Three, two, three years, something two, like that. Two, three years. And you know, on a it? per year basis... Did you guys end up getting married, or was it just a messy partnership? Honestly, um, <laughs> he was too clean, and I was too messy. <laughs> I don't know where that accent came on, but he's not wrong. I w- I'm... <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is that? Is it, a, is it like a what laughing a, rubber chicken? It's a flamingo. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so like my. Perfect. It sounds like. <laughs> it sounds like Krager's butthole oh, is Ricky laughing. Ricardo. <laughs> Why is that <laughs> Tapioca. <laughs> it's like the best whose line is it ever <laughs> reference? Uh, Tapioca. Okay, sorry. Where, where are we going with that? A uh, good fella. So you lived two years, good fella. Um, Joe legitimately would watch that at least twenty times a year. Yeah, because Joe's Not a gangster. Twenty times Dude. a year. It, it was, was more, it was definitely once a month. More it's like on my favorite. It was movie. more than once a month. It was it was more than once a month. I All right. That movie. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh yeah. So that that would be my guess. But. So Goodfellas. Oh, that would have been your guess for him. Yeah. That, yeah. That's okay. What I thought. But yeah. So Forrest so Gump is yours. Wouldn't be no. the same on cable though. That's mm, the difference. Okay. Good point. Good point. Yeah. You know what's funny is these type of movies I refer to as FX movies. They're movies that oh, I seem to FX always be playing. Movies. Yeah. They always yeah, play. The so, intro chick is super hot. Oh yeah, she's I that, watch. Like, weirdo. Is she? Do you actually see her, or is she just no? A voice? Whenever FX does you used movies, to. I don't know if you do during anymore. the commercials, it goes like this dude and this chick like telling you random facts and showing you behind oh, the scenes. I do scenes. remember that. Yeah. Well, anyway, I saw iRobot. I think like twenty <laughs> times before I saw the first ten minutes of it. It always seemed to be the same moment I would come in at on that movie. Like, did anyone else have that experience where you would come in at the same moment at a yeah. movie on television yes. every single yep. time? And you're like, I've seen this movie 20 times, but I don't know how it starts. I yeah. Robot's pretty good, too. Eh. 
I mean, I, I just remember LaBeouf's when he would like. Come on. I just remember when he would like. No, it's Will Smith. Sp- yeah, Will Smith. Shia LaBeouf is in oh, the kid, would like yeah. spray that like synthetic skin over his bionic arm. Yeah, I always thought about that all the time, and I, I was like, I want that. No, my my favorite scene is when like the love interest shoots the uh, bad high robot and like were your eyes closed? <laughs> oh yeah, my That's favorite yeah. uh, <clears throat> scene is uh, ten years later when I found out Alan Tudyk did this, the motion yeah, capture yeah, from the robot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I, I uh, can see that. The the movie that I would stop on always is Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, that's no a matter good one. What, I'll always stop. On and the Empire thing is, Strikes it's Back. never just Empire Strikes Back. If there's a Star Wars movie on, it's all of them playing. You know, yeah. always a marathon. Always. So I just recently watched Rogue One again, and I completely how forgot how great of a movie oh, that, that movie actually is. is. Awesome. I is love that movie. Such a great oh, movie. Good. There's some yeah. moments that are a little bit slow, but overall it's a really fun movie, especially the end with Darth Vader. Oh like, man. That scene gives me chills every time. Yeah. Like every I, time. I put it on to like kind of fall asleep. I ended up watching the entire thing. I'm like, I haven't seen this in a while. This is great. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's I highly bought, underrated. I got I bought Solo when it came out on Blu-ray. I haven't rewatched it yeah, yet. Yeah, because it's the most okayest movie ever. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. It's, actually, it's a movie I, that you would watch I, on TV. I have yet to see that movie. Oh, we should we should rent out my uh, theater at my apartment yeah. complex yeah. and watch it. So I haven't watched it since it came yeah, out. Yeah, I haven't seen it, and it's been a year now almost. Yeah. I've been thinking we should actually do that when we do another like movie podcast. Yeah, that was always kind of the plan, and then I wanted to film in the movie theater yeah. afterwards for the podcast, but it just never really came to fruition. Last time I did that with you guys, I think I drank what like five beers. In the yeah, you brought row. a six pack. I had one, and you had the other five. Yeah, it was supposed oh, to be yeah. like eighteen people showing up, and then it was just Cam, me, and Madison. Yeah, okay, I was, it was great. I, was I loved it. But then. Like me and Shelby end up doing like something. No, it's because it was Brett's birthday that night too, and I didn't know, and he oh, came to town, yeah. and then everyone went out there. Instead. That's what it was. Which I mean, I can't blame you for that, yeah. but you yeah, know, I remember because you're you just know, not my you know friend. Cam's get, just my only friend. You yeah. know how Brett gets with I his birthdays. Back. I don't actually. Yeah. <laughs> Brett believes in birthday months. Oh, oh, he's one of those. So he's a basic chick. <laughs> <laughs> like, visual gag. Yeah. Um, so. So you said Empire Strikes Back. You said Forrest Gump. Craiger, what do you think? Um, honestly, it's got to be um, any of the Austin Powers. I oh. I can watch interesting any of the Austin Powers anytime, anywhere, any day, no matter what part of the movie. Question: Those, Do you think they still hold up? They do for me. Many people will say they don't, and like I do believe that there are some movies that do not hold up. I don't, Mike Myers is like my all-time favorite comedian. Like he, no matter he has not done a movie that I'm not. Enjoying. Were you a love fan guru? of the Love Guru? <laughs> that's <laughs> that's exactly love where we guru. went to. Yes, oh, I, I can say, I can so say without a doubt, I do highly enjoy the Love Guru. Cam's getting nice and close to me. I you, get, we might be. Uh, I'm just moving away from Craig. Right? <laughs> might, oh, I, I, here Listen, I was thinking we're uh, see, vibrating it, on the same it, frequency. So, here if if anyone has listened to this podcast long enough, you can understand I don't have a great sense of humor. Well, I was going to so, say, some people, they pine for unconditional love in their life. And yeah. Craig has given that to Mike Myers. It's true. <laughs> there you yes. go. No, like, that movie just, uh, it gets me, like, in so many different ways. Like, um, Austin just, Powers or Love Guru? Please, name the ways. Well, no, no. Um, uh, Austin Powers is also Love Guru. Like, Justin Timberlake's in it. It's really funny. Like, like his, his, I do love JT. No, and also, like, his, like, his, like, his, like, um, like Peace Be With You is, like, Mariska Hargate. And then, like, they get Mariska Hargate, the actor. He's like, yeah. Mariska Hargate, Mariska Hargate. Like, that's really funny. Funny, Do you get then... it's funny because he says the same thing as someone's name? Do you get it? Oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love the hot. That's exactly what that now. reminds me of. I love okay. it. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, yeah. No, but it's like, I don't know. There's, it, it, it just gets me. I don't yeah. like Justin yeah. Timberlake's character like it's funny. I don't know. So mine is, and I actually do this anytime it's on TV, I will leave it on. Is Jurassic Park? Oh yeah, oh, yeah every time. Or the second one? Yeah, any any of the Jurassic Except Park for the films. Third one. Honestly, uh, even the uh, third one, I will nah, leave that third uh, one on. I enjoy all the Jurassic uh, Park films. Oh, did you just drink the uh, sediment? Uh, Craig just drank the sediment. Yeah, that's oh, I thought he was dry. saying that to Jurassic no, Park. No, he's dry heaving over there. <laughs> no, with the sediment. I would do that to Jurassic. Yeah, Park. me too. <laughs> Wait, what, why are we doing that sound? <laughs> that's, that's what none of the dinosaurs Yeah, I was going to say, well, is I that know. Chewbacca? No, I didn't. I didn't. No, no, no. no. It's All like, the dinosaurs fear the T-Rex. <laughs> that was good. That was like Chewbacca waking up from yeah, a nap. Yeah, that was beautiful. <laughs> yeah. I'm jealous of your Chewbacca now. Thank you. It's the beard. Yeah. It must be the beard. My, uh, I used to do the sand people all the time. Oh, my God. You were so <laughs> good. Yeah. So in high school, that was my thing. When someone would see me, we did like a call back and forth. I go, 
<laughs> oh, that was my. No, that for was me mine. was um when I was in high school at heart. Um, you remember Mr. Walker, the English teacher? No, nope. this is relatable to everyone. No, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> all of our it, listeners it, it, listeners it, it, went to heart. Yeah, no, it doesn't have to. Re- no, I just it was asking. Anyway, so his name was Mr. Walker, and he actually was in the Star Wars. Yeah. So, but he was an English teacher he was in the Star Wars. He no. was into Star Wars. Into oh. Star Wars. Yeah. Um, but he Luke. was he wasn't a very good teacher and like he <laughs> was like kind of like over his students and so like he wait, was that the one with the Padawan the braid? Sky. Yeah, um, he <laughs> had blonde curly hair. Okay, no different guy. <laughs> anyway, so he was very just disgruntled at like life and was always mad. And so me, did he touch your hiney? No. <laughs> anyway, so like me, like the mature person in football was like. I knew some friends in class, and I taught them all the um, Chewbacca call. And so when he'd be riding on the board, like we'd like at different parts of the room, be like, and turn and get pissed off. And it, it always resulted in him getting way too pissed off and giving yeah. us more work. But it was <laughs> way too much. <laughs> but kids do that. Mad. Hey yeah. guys, guess what? I have to pee really bad. I did just I'm think of a sound by you need. in my chair. What? That I have to pee really bad? No. Oh, can we get some crickets in there? Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> I do need that. Hey, we're gonna take a break real quick so I can go take a pee. You guys could talk amongst yourselves. While I'm doing that, we're gonna go. take a mic in there so we can hear it. Oh, that'd be nice. I've done that Some ASMR. <laughs> I've done that before. Um, Hi, but, guys. Croak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, now I think. Now on uh, Stoked on Stuff. <laughs> yeah, this is, welcome to Stoked on Stuff. We got a callback to an episode on Monday. Um, <laughs> which I wasn't a part of. <laughs> you weren't. You weren't here, which was a I damn was shame. I was working because I work six days a week. Yeah, I work. Uh, sucks for you. I work five days a week, and most of the time I get days off because I'm a teacher. I know, you lucky. Yeah. You. Oh, I was just thinking, like, you can draw stuff. I need to buy my own welder, so then, like, some of the Patreon stuff, I could weld stuff. For oh, that'd be amazing. I know, right? That'd be amazing. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and take a TIG welding class soon, and because TIG welding, you get really intricate and, like, detailed, like, really yeah. cool artsy stuff, like, because I want to do some of that stuff. So. Yeah, that'd be really fun. You could do some, like, structural uh, sculpture like that. Yeah. Can we start adding to the uh, 3D printer fund? Yeah, we should do that. Well, Cam just donated a bunch of money. They well, did. I'm sorry, the Catholic Church. Yeah, the Catholic yeah. Church donated a whole bunch of money. Uh, Thank shout- you, Pope. Thanks, God. Um, <laughs> that again, we got you. Yeah. Isn't it funny that like something I don't believe in gave us money? <laughs> it's okay. You used to believe in it. It's okay. Well, no, it's like I did used to. I'm I'm too punk. I'm on the inside. I'm on the system. I'm like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take some of this money and give it to some of my life. <laughs> okay. Me and Joe will show you the light. Yeah, you know what movie I've been wanting to work. watch for a while? Because I, I used to watch it all the time, and it used to always play all the time. It's kind of just like stereotypical punk now, but um, I still used to love it. She's I haven't all seen that. it in a while. It was SLC Punk. Oh, SLC Punk is great. Mm. Yeah, I haven't seen it in a while. I've been yeah. wanting to watch it again. It's still a great movie. And now we're moving on to our next segment. How was that, P? Uh, uh, so, scale uh, of 1 to 10. Yeah, you guys know that, that P where you wait so long that it actually hurts your bladder while you're peeing? Yes. yes. Yeah, it was that P. Hey, so I'm going to give it a negative minute, 3. The, the real test on how good was it is I didn't did orgasm. it give you the shivers? No, I didn't orgasm. Uh, <laughs> and it wasn't that good. Do you, no. guys, do you guys ever pee and then the tip of your penis like dunks into the water a little bit? Uh, no, no, ours aren't twenty four inches. No, oh, well, sorry, <laughs> no, not even well, me either. Honestly, every guy can attest. The worst part about it is, or whenever you pee, is when it goes into different directions. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> yes, that, yeah, that little residue right there, and then it splits. Do you guys yeah. remember that one scene from um, a hot, hot Rod? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> where he has the tattoo of Calvin peeing on television and FM radio. <laughs> How come I don't remember that? <laughs> oh, it's the best. It's Chris Parnell. He has the tattoo and he like lifts it up and it's like on his abdomen. Gods of what? All I remember, all I remember from that movie. Mighty. I only remember there was like a uh, uh, dirty dancing or no footloose thing. Oh, yeah, where he's in, uh, where he, in the he forest calls it like rage dancing. It. Yeah, in the rage forest. dancing. Yeah. And I remember him saying cool beans really weird. Cool beans. Cool beans. Cool beans. beans. Cool 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 That's all I remember. Cool beans. All I remember from that movie. I prefer my beans, beans. to be like hot. Well, you're hot, Mexican. Hot beans. No, you're not. What are you? What are you? Stir fried uh, beans. Wait, g- baked no, potato. Not Guatemalan. Honduras? No. Yo, his family's Pen- from like Penon- San Fernando. Penonaman? <laughs> from Penomena? Penomena. Penomena. The fact that the three of us just did that right now without any sort of cue or anything happening was fantastic. <laughs> that that flamingo laugh, that flamingo laugh is gonna be the best thing ever. Dear Lord, Cam's broken. I have yeah. a, I have another one I haven't even used yet. But dude, uh, we need his laugh as a sound. Bite. I know. I'll replace it. His I'll replace cackle. his laugh with this one. <laughs> I'll, I'll oh my gosh, it. they almost sound alike. I, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Round of applause for Cam. <laughs> no, Cam like, has a hidden it's talent. Like, it's like um, from the, that one person. Like, oh, okay, dude. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, dude, the, yeah, that the, was awesome. Yeah, the server dude. Like, oh. I really tried to get the my leg sound bite. <laughs> my leg. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. Cool. But uh, they didn't have any good ones that didn't <laughs> have that like music or anything. Is that referencing when Cam got beat up with yeah. a leg? <laughs> I did get beat up with a leg. Yeah, that would have been a good one to have. Oh, man. I don't really have crying. anything to stand on. I'm pretty sure that <laughs> I'm pretty sure that our listeners are only going to be laughing at how hard we're laughing at ourselves yeah, yeah, right now. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> isn't that all our podcast? That's all our podcast. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sweaty. So cool. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> so we answered that. So let's get into this last uh, last segment here. Right. <laughs> Your face is creeping me out, bro. This is where we play trivia to defend the title. Oh, hell yeah! yeah. Let's get this title out. Oh. So we have. The reigning champion, Gregor, has the Wreck My Podcast title right now, and he has to defend it. And so Mm -hmm. this round of trivia questions is, dramatic pause, put that sitcom character to the sitcom. If I I was a betting man, I would say this belt is about to go to the Kubis household. It is about to go. So these are actually a little bit easy, I think. I have multiple choice, but I'm not going to give you multiple choice right away. I'm going to let you chime in right after. And we're going to do... So, uh, so we need to clarify. So we cannot answer until you have finished, or we can answer one I'm literally one. saying the name of a character. Okay. okay. So and then do we click, answer with our name? And then it's your name to chime in, and yeah. then you give me what show you think they're on. <laughs> and nothing's going to be up there. This is just a place. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to read them. All right. So you guys ready for this? Yeah. yeah. Nick Miller. Crayer. Oh, Cam. Dude. Give it to him. New girl. It is new girl. Cam has the first one. Cam Coin. With one. Okay. Operated you, you, boy. <laughs> you did not clarify. I assumed it was just these two. No. Guys. It's any single. <laughs> you didn't clarify oh, that. So I friends was, or so, role? No. I feel like he said so, it's not that's I say, just yeah. something that's up there. Match the character to the sitcom. My mind only thought it was those two because Nick- Well, your mind's broken. All right, moving to the next one. Howard Wallowitz. Krieger. Um, Big Bang Theory. That's Big Bang Theory. I've never the seen an episode. Hate so the show. far, two shows that I don't watch. Oh, yeah. yeah. New Girl's really good. New Girl's great. I've heard. Yeah, New Girl. I've seen a couple episodes, and Netflix. I've actually been into it's it. It's surprising how different New Girl is in the first season compared to the other seasons. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, it gets so crazy in the other yeah, seasons. It's amazing. It's I, absurdist as it goes on. I like yeah. the black guy from Game Night. Oh, me too. Whoa. He was my favorite part of Game Night. Oh, yeah. Winston on the show. Yeah, Winston. Him and his Denzel impression. Oh, he's so good. All right, number three, <laughs> Uncle Leo. Craiger. Um, uh, that 70s show. No. Oh. Mm. Mm. Uncle Leo? Yes. Uncle Leo. And he can't answer again until I know. I know. both of you go. What if you start reading the multiple choices? Does that okay, I'm up for an answer? Multiple choices. I don't like that. I think everyone should just guess. I don't know the answer. I'm just no, gonna... I have to read them all the choices if no one has a guess. Because we yeah. don't have a guess. Otherwise, it's just going to be dead air right now. Yeah. Here, wait. Let's let's hear what that sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, multiple choices. Friends, Seinfeld, That 70s Show, The Office. Cam. Yes, Cam. It's Seinfeld. It is Seinfeld. Uncle it is Leo. Seinfeld, yeah. So two to one. He, Cam just took a sip of sediment. It's <laughs> disgusting. Yeah. I don't know why I did that. All right, number four. There's only five here, by the way, guys. What? Damn. Yeah, sorry. I didn't have that much it's time to do this. basically Cam. <sighs> Ted. Kevin. Joe. Okay. Damn it. I only said Ted. Keep that in mind. Yeah. Craig or go. I'm going to call your bluff How I Met Your Mother. It is not How I Met Your Mother. <laughs> Holy crap. This that... character has no last name. It is only known as Ted. Only known as Ted? Yeah. Give us the... Well, Joe already called uh, Yeah, I, I said my name, but that... You're giving it to Cam. That throws me. Okay. All right, go ahead. Yeah, I'm I don't have an answer. I'm not going to give the answers. I'm going to give what his profession is. Okay. Lawyer. Mm. Ted the lawyer? All right, I'll give you multiple choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't know. How I Met Your Mother, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Cam. Cam. It's Always Sunny. No. <laughs> Two and a Half Men, Scrubs. Joe. Scrubs. It is Scrubs. Okay. Come on, Craiger. 
no! How do you not know this? <clears throat> I've never seen So we got scrubs. two one to one. <laughs> I've seen every I episode I multiple times. Yeah. So I figured Craiger oh, would know that, but he went too quickly on the How I Met Your Mother. That was a trick question. That All was. right. Very last one. I gonna What's the score right here? Budget. It's one to uh, one. Craiger to two. has one. Joe has one. Cam has two. Oh. So you guys could pull it into a sudden death match, and I'll have right. to start coming up with stuff off the top of my head. We all know how well I think on my feet. <laughs> All right, well, you're how, how down. I am sitting off your feet. Uh, pretty well. Better than all my feet. <laughs> I like to be on my toes. Okay, Carlton Banks. Cam. Joe. Cam. Joe, mother. Uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. That is correct. Damn it. Cam. Coin operated wait, boy. Wait. <laughs> Coin operated boy. <laughs> Sitting on the shelf, he is just a toy. The dance is just as good as the song. And he comes to life. That song means that Cam has won the title. It's back to its original owner. Yeah, it is. That's where we are. I'm very curious. Um, so when we did this before, I wasn't here, so I didn't have a walkout song. Yeah, I know. What if you did won- you? I don't have know. Planned. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> if I knew, if I knew the rules, I, I would have gotten nothing. the first question right. Hmm. Wait, what sounds you, like wait, he, wait, sounds wait, like wait, he said all the rules means, in the beginning. No, I, I, <laughs> yes, he did. I only thought it was those two shows. Why so would like, he only say either Boy Meets World or, or Friends? First off, the mm. first question was Nick I? Miller. Was Nick Miller? Yes. Which is in neither of those. <laughs> I know. Friends. But I was just boy I meets was going world. With the strategy of just saying my name as soon as I could to then. Say. Yeah, I know. Because and I your said strategy Nick failed and, you. Yeah. Get Not only strategy. am I a master of the cinema and television world, I am now a master of the ring. I am the master of the trivia, and I'm going to cut you down any can I anytime I can. Cascada, you're done. You're <laughs> done, boy. Now, like the most pubes of most. <laughs> 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 yeah, all, I need to get better you, at this. It's, it's because I left my coin purse at home. Hey. Yeah. Well, hey. Cam is our new reigning champion. There was a there we go. In my prison wallet. Oh, it's turned off on the. You know, Why did you do oh, that? Oh, remember I turned it off last time because it wouldn't stop. This, this is bull awesome. crap. <laughs> This yep. So that's crap. that's the that's this that's this thing we're doing around around table round around around table round 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 get around I, I get, get around, around yeah get, get around, around. Woo, I, I get, get around. around that should be our intro song. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you know what I'm gonna find out because I played or a song I'll... by the Who and I played a song by the Replacements here and uh, I'm probably picture. gonna get uh, copyright infringement on the YouTube video. <laughs> what about a uh, round and round by Rat? Ooh, who's Rat? Round and yeah. round, what comes around goes around. No, I don't know I that one. It's like a '80s you hair metal. Spin my I, 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 head right round, yeah, right round. Right. Oh, play. Or we could do uh, round the clock. What's that one? Uh, the Happy Days. One, one two, two, three, three o'clock, four, three o'clock, yeah, rock. Yeah, five, six, seven o'clock, eight, eight o'clock, rock. rock. You, nine, nine, ten, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, rock. rock. We're gonna days. rock <laughs> <laughs> around the clock tonight. <laughs> happy Days <laughs> is like Sunday, Monday, Happy Days. I got it wrong. Can uh, can Joe and I just write a song for it? Yeah, sure. That would actually would be awesome. Yeah. I would love that. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Do you want to do some screams? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> Just like that. Uh, round and round. Round and round. Round and round. <laughs> and in the background, you hear, Who? Who is this home improvement? <laughs> yes. That, that was a throwback to home improvement. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, all right. So, yeah, that's this episode. I'm going to take us out here. Uh, so, we are on Instagram and Twitter at Wreck My Podcast. You can also find us at wreckmypodcast at gmail.com. We're on all major podcasting apps as well as YouTube, so rate, review, and subscribe. We also have a Patreon where you can go give us some money, and I'd like to thank Ryan and Cole for giving us money. That's Ryan Buds and Cole Fenn of Cole Fenn Enterprises. That's a running joke of this podcast. Uh, if you don't like us enough to give us your money, don't worry. You can go click the Amazon link on our website, wreckmypodcast.com. You don't have to spend any more money, but it still kicks us back a little bit. So that's nice. Cam just gave me 100, 148 bucks yeah. doing that, which is super cool. Uh, thank you to Ben from Petrified Gumbo Music for making that stoked on this song. We have main episodes come out every Wednesday, and this show is going to be coming out every Monday, then around, around table. 
around, round, round the table. And uh, thank you guys for doing this with me for the yeah, first man. time. Is this too loud? No, it's fine. No, it's no I think it's a good level. Oh, How's that? There? That's a good yeah. level? Yeah, that's I'm, gonna, I gotta, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. It's my first time, There's people. No yeah, it's our maiden voyage. Yeah, it's our maiden voyage we'll on this We'll find thing. out in yeah. editing. Hey, it yeah. worked out because we had champagne for the maiden voyage. Oh, yeah, we did. We just and did. I smashed a bottle of champagne against your building. Yes, before I came you did. In. Yeah, it was great. Did you really? <laughs> and then, and then, then you drank it like Jesus. Yeah. Why is that a thing? On that sacrilegious note... Thank you for tuning in with us, <laughs> and we will see you all next week. Yeah, all right. Bye. I all love right, you. All right, bye. Bye. I kind of like you. Bye. It's complicated. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a new one. I'm going to start going. Prison. Prison. Freeway. Oh, wait, so it was CHP? Jordan, I started yeah. recording, recording to get some of this B-roll in. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I, I have to pay up a ticket this month. I was going... Uh, <clears throat> I was going... Every time! <laughs> um, yeah, I was going on Bokeh Canyon where there is a um, passing lane, mm -hmm. and people on Bokeh Canyon do not understand oh, what we a... Oh, going to try that yet, but okay. Turnout, <laughs> oh, <my bad. laughs> no, you're good. What a turnout is, and so... You didn't explain it. I know, sorry. <laughs> <the> <laughs> <laughs> you weren't here. So, um, so I was like, oh, there's a, tur there's a turnout lane. And I, right. But in the back of my mind, there's always a CHP because I've seen him there. Yeah. I was going like 80 and 55. Yeah, I was going 102 and a 65. So that's good. I almost doubled it. Yeah, I haven't gotten no, so I didn't almost double it. I don't know like math. I don't know math. <laughs> well, so you're not eligible for traffic school. If I was no. going one mile an hour faster, I wouldn't be eligible for traffic school. Yeah. So was, yeah. I'm not eligible. But I'm like, to take CHP, man, it's the day I was hoping you guys would have, or you would have a court date earlier than that because I have jury duty on February 25th and I could have been uh, your ace in the pot, in the hole yeah. or whatever. You're like, God, not guilty. He's not guilty. <laughs> I don't think he doesn't look guilty to me. <laughs> he doesn't look like he was going one. No, or two. look at him. That's my completely unbiased opinion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like afterwards, I look at you and I'm like, sick. Yeah. Like, thanks, <laughs> thanks, Jordan. I mean, guy, I don't guy, know. Juror, <laughs> <laughs> jury member number three. Is that what they do? Like uh, three, four, five, or is it more like a two oh eight six four? Sure. Yeah, you all have a like two oh eight. Yeah. Yeah, you all have robots. I am not looking numbers. for. I'm really hoping the last time I got jury duty, every night I called in, they didn't ask me to come. I'm really hoping that happens again, but I seriously doubt I'll get that lucky again. Yeah. <laughs> I hate just monotonous stuff. So going and sitting in a courtroom and doing nothing all day sounds awful. I really wonder if you're gonna have the same court date as I do. Though I'm actually gonna be pushing mine out and. I'm um, not going in April. I'm going to reschedule it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going in April. Yeah. Get it done with. I'm just going to go. Yeah. I was 65 and a 50. McBean. Oh, that's dumb. McBean. I know that is dumb. Those ones are stupid. Well, see, or I was, Valencia Blue. I was always so proud. This is my first ever speeding ticket. This is my first <clears throat> ever speeding ticket. This also. is my fifth speeding ticket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and well, I've gotten out of four of them. I was going to say, what? I have three or four myself from when I was younger. When I had the BMW, I we used to drive really crazy back in high school. And Jeez. not smart, but... Yeah. yeah, I got yeah. caught a bunch. <laughs> uh, yeah, this would be my fifth speeding ticket, and I've actually only had to pay once before, and we'll see what happens this time. I'll probably have to pay this time. But If you don't mind me asking, how did you get out of it? Um, it was different when it's uh, he cried. sheriffs. <laughs> he flashed his tit. Yeah, showed some leg. Um, just one tit. <laughs> just one. Yeah, it's different when it's sheriffs, and it also depends on the officer, uh, just because... Because they have more important shit to do. Basically. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I would just show up to court every time, and 75% of the time, the officer won't show up, so they dismiss it. Oh, wow. Yeah, because they have other shit to do. Yeah. yeah. Mine was, yeah. A, mine was a And stage. they don't get paid overtime for showing up to court. So, mm -hmm. if it's on their off day, they're not coming in. Yeah, mine was mine was a CHP, so I'm not even gonna try and fight that. They're no. all they're all about ruining no. Well, life. CHP actually does get paid overtime to go to court. Oh, so really? They yeah. do go. No. Which nothing the against no, nothing against law enforcement. I know you're there to protect us and do great things. It's just like <sighs> <sighs> you can you are yeah. <laughs> we can we can start drinking it now. <laughs> can we? Yeah. Um, so what? Are, so this is a brute IPA. Okay. I can't reach. Clink. I clink you. It's not. It's I, not. A, it's I, not a brut IPA. No, it's not a. <laughs> no, it's it too brute. What did you call a carpe diem again? Uh, Carpappy dime. <laughs> so I'll give you guys a little bit more information, and we'll talk about how we like this when we get to that section in the podcast. Okay. So let's start this podcast off, huh? This is the first one. So I'm going to bring us in with some music. Do it. Maybe. All right. And Bart Starr. You ready to pour that out so that we can get to uh, Bart Starr? Start it back up. Because we're so mature.
Here, you want to pour that first before we start it? Okay. And then yeah. we can do, uh, we could say what we think about it. Hey, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm Krog. This is new beer. We're trying. <laughs> What'd you call yourself? Uh, no, I'm Krog, you know, from uh, Rancor, Thor Ragnarok, or whatever oh. it's called, mm, you know? Yeah. The Rancor. <laughs> No. Thor Rancor. <laughs> I'd watch no. that. I would too. Yeah. Just Thor, yeah. Thor and Rancor oh. fighting. Yeah. Yeah, look, it's, it's, it, Thor wins. It's New Greg. Yeah. He sounds just like New Greg. You know, he's saving the fight. You know, it's great. We had the you know, we had the revolt, you know, no one came except my dad and my mom. He was great. Oh. Do you know what that, that character reminds me of? It reminds me of Carl from Yes Man. I was just thinking yeah. that. That's yeah. so funny when Craig hey. was doing that. Maybe you could call me Carl. You know, for short, <laughs> no, Carl's hey. pretty short already. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing mate. I don't know, something like that. You know? It's like, hey, man, can I call you Carl? Well, Carl's yeah. already pretty short, so. <laughs> mm. Thank you, sir. I'm just talking, so just shut me up. Yeah, well, that, smells, <laughs> Jordan. that smells potent. Yeah, he does remind me of, uh, you're right, it's spot on with Carl from Yes Man. Have you guys well, seen What We Do in the Shadows? This Mm, try, try, and, try and match it out. Okay. Yeah. I think you're gonna have more than all of us. No, stop, 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 stop. Selfish. Do you guys have more? Um, Shellfish. <laughs> here, I'm gonna I'm gonna play us in right now. Yeah. 